have a, have a theme word for the the whole year or at least parts of the year the bigger parts of the year and uh, monthly goals instead of a yearly resolution make monthly resolutions and then break those down into weekly goals break down your monthly resolutions into weekly goals you know and then that means okay if i need to get this done by let's say friday where do i need to be on wednesday you know you're making this on uh, sunday night let's say or saturday so where do I need to be on Wednesday in order to be where I need to be on Friday to have achieved this weekly goal? That's what I'm talking about by breaking it up. And that way you're staying more in the present moment because you're dealing with this now. It's not some distant, far away dream in, in three months and six months and who knows when. midnight about 10 minutes to midnight December 31st 2023 which by the way as everyone knew except for me but my sister pointed out the date if you write it down is one two three one two three that's December 31st 23 and in 10 minutes it'll be New Year's here So what I want to talk about real quick is looking back to my past uh, as a kid, you know, you know, mom and dad, we'd all have New Year's together, obviously, my sister. And every year, for a long time, I don't remember when we stopped, but I know we, did, we kind of just stopped doing it. We had this thing called New Year's resolutions. So we waited until midnight, the whole family is staying up, you know, doing this sort of exciting thing. You know, it was obviously not normal. The family, the family normally wasn't up until midnight together. We're watching this New York ball drop thing. And we'd write our resolutions now. So I, I don't think my parents really understood what they were doing. Like, what was the point of these New Year's resolutions? <laughs> you know, we just did it for a long time, maybe till I was like, I don't know, 13 or 15 or something like that. Now, as an adult looking back, you know, fondly the nostalgia of all that was great, but uh, I have to admit, it never really worked. I don't remember thinking much about them besides that one night, or maybe within a week someone brought it up again. But that's about it. I never remember having a discussion about what was your New Year's resolutions on January 1st, midnight. And we're talking about it in July. Like, is it happening? Is it, is it going to happen? Is there any plans about how to accomplish whatever the thing was? No idea. Never heard about that story. So I want to talk about that in a sense, like maybe there's another way. So my, what I've read recently was there's a couple other things you can think about. Instead of just having a New Year's resolution, this year I'm going to whatever, get in shape, you know, whatever the thing is, find a new job. Um, let's break it down a little bit more uh, because that's just, that, those kind of resolutions just seem like gigantic you know, life-changing events type of thing because you're talking about this whole year's worth of project and you're just starting off on day one. So it sounds, you've got the whole rest of the, the job or the journey to get to accomplish, that's huge. And to me, that's not very encouraging. That's actually kind of discouraging. It sounds like so much extra work. So what I'm proposing for people like me out there, you might be listening to this, January 1st, January 2nd, who knows, maybe it's July or August, but you know, you, you want to get some uh, thoughts on how to go about accomplishing some of your goals. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be January 1st. It could be any time. So my first thing would be 
that I like that I've read so far from other uh, you know other sources I'm sharing with you now. The first thing I'd liked was having a, some kind of a theme word for the year and or for maybe the half year or quarter year increments. So because you also have to be open to as the year progresses and let's say you actually accomplish some of your goals, you might have different theme words now because now that that part was done. So don't think, oh, it's always going to be, you know, um, you know, get in shape or, or eat nutritious or whatever. And then suddenly you've achieved your goal weights and your look and all that. And then it's like, but it's only, you know, May or, or August. What do I do with the rest of the year? Uh, I'm already there. So then maybe you would change, or let's say I want to buy a new car. Okay, you did. Now what do you do? You know, that, that you did that. You ended up doing that in April. Um, so maybe you, you can have, be flexible and say, okay, as, as the different, as life unfolds, let's say, you end up modifying, you know, what, what it is you're aiming for because things, things change. So I, instead of having a one, the idea of one word that's going to be, uh, you know, the whole year's worth of uh, theme, I would say break it up into thirds or quarters and just have that in your mind. Now, you, it might be you repeat it. You can still do it, you know, the whole year. You can do it for half a year, whatever. Same word. Like, what if your word's consistency? Okay, well, that's, that can apply to a lot of different things. And then that's a good thing to keep probably throughout the year. So you just modify as you need it. So the first thing is a theme word that applies to either the year or parts of the year, you know, in quarters, in halves every four months, reassess, you know, whatever works. The next thing would be uh, that I like is having not an annual, you know, goal resolution type of thing, but have monthly goals. That's, that would be my next thing that I think would be a good idea. Instead of trying to squeeze everything, I mean, have this giant, broad, you know, bird's eye view of the whole landscape of what you want to accomplish make it make it a monthly thing instead these idiots try not to kill anybody try not to kill yourselves people really don't know how to drive i'll tell you nope it's total anarchy <laughs> left right swinging into your lane um, a good word for these people would be like think <laughs> look before you change lanes etc anyway um, so the, the monthly monthly goals would be a good thing and the reason for these things is to bring it down to my third point but for now the monthly goals are let's see if I can change it up front now it's a lot prettier on front I wonder if I can use this thing to... This is my first time with this new camera, by the way, so I'm experimenting here. I hope this guy doesn't fucking hit me. The bus almost hit me. Let's see if I can turn it towards... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That way. No, it's as far as it goes. I think it's at the limit. Oh, I know how to do it. I can uh, flip it and then make it go this way. Then you can see the front better. Isn't that pretty? Um, anyway. Monthly goals. So you have four weeks. You're, you're, each month is obviously divided up into basically four, four sections, four weeks. And then each week you can redivide up into what what are the steps necessary to achieve it. When you have these uh, shorter term goals, and, and like you have the big goal, which you divide into multiple steps. That's how to make these things seem achievable. So you know, like if you say, "Well, I want to make a million dollars this year," you know, I don't know how you plan on doing that, but. That means by the middle of the year, you have to have half a million dollars, you know. So let's say June, I'd like to be approaching half, if not more, 
Now, how do you get there? Well, then halfway there is um, March. Where should you be in March? A quarter million? And you can start to break it down into, you know, because trying to make a quarter million is a lot, sounds a lot more reasonable than trying to make one whole million. So it's, that's a lot more achievable. Now, even if it takes you longer, you're still on your way. Even if you don't make a million at the end of the year, you, but you made, you know, three quarters of a million, let's say, or half a million, well, that's great. That's a lot more than you had before. So breaking these uh, steps down, I think, would uh, helps a lot. That worked pretty good. And the reason you want to do it, sort of these things is, is my theory here is that you want to uh, eventually people people tend in general to kind of live in the either the past uh, first of all yeah in the past or the pre or the future and you always hear about all oh, these enlightened uh, you know The, the gurus or whatever, you know, Buddha, blah, blah, blah. They say, live in the present, stay in the present moment, stay in the present moment. It's so true. And people never do. And then they wonder why I'm not, you know, and they're focusing on, uh, the, the, the goal is to basically live in the present moment and focus on the goals you want to achieve, the things you want, the things you want to accomplish or achieve in your life, things you want to bring into your life, whether it's business or, or personal. But people rarely do that and then stay in the present moment. But people really rarely do that. What they're mostly focused on is what they don't want, their fears and insecurities. And they're always worried about something that happened in the past, uh, having regrets, and or what's going to happen tomorrow. So it's either regret about tomorrow, regret about yesterday, or worried about tomorrow, and never once giving any positive attention to what is actually going on right now. And right now, in the present moment, is the only thing you have control over. Well, I'm driving around right now. I could turn left. I can turn right. I can go straight. I can go backwards. I can only do that right now. I can't go back to where I just turned left five minutes ago and do it again. That's over. So regretting whether or not I made the right turn at that point is not going to accomplish anything. The only point of, be, of looking back is to learn from the mistakes so that you can do better in the future, but not worry about the future. And, and when the future as it relates to the past, which means right now, <laughs> right now is the future of, you know, five minutes ago, of, of yesterday, of last month. Do better right now. This is, you're living in the future. Yesterday's future is right now. So whatever worries and lessons you were trying to take from whatever happened, apply them right now. Apply them right now. And uh, so anyway, that's my little video for the night. We'll see it for the new year. Oh, it's 12. It's already passed. 12.03, it says. 12.02 on my phone, according to the satellites. While we were driving around, it passed. Somehow you shared that with me. Cheers. Uh, let's go home and have a relaxing drink or something. And focus on positive things, what you want to accomplish, what you want to achieve. Keep your eye on the goal. On the goal. Just like riding a motorcycle, you know, keep your uh, eye where you want to go, which is, you know, basically the, the open road. Don't look at the tree. Don't look at the parked car. That's uh, don't look at the cars coming towards you in the street. That's where you're going to end up aiming the bike if you keep staring at the wrong thing. Don't aim at your fears. Aim at your goals. Aim at what you want to achieve. Just like on a motorcycle, it's exactly the same. So anyway, with that, we'll see how this uh, adds up. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Oh, by the way, if anyone cares, this happens. I'm smoking a uh, 
smoking a Padron. It's their, uh, you know, less fancy label. I think it's a 3000 is the model number of this. What's they call it? It took me forever to figure out what the numbers mean. I'm still not 100% sure, but I know this is a 3000. Time for the finish this off maybe at home and uh, a little bit of uh, bullet uh, bourbon and happy new year. You know, have a, have a theme word for the, the whole year or at least parts of the year, the bigger parts of the year and uh, monthly goals instead of a yearly resolution, make monthly resolutions and then break those down into weekly goals. Break down your monthly resolutions into weekly goals. You know, and then that means, okay, if I need to get this done by, let's say, Friday, where do I need to be on Wednesday? You know, you're making this on uh, Sunday night, let's say, or Saturday. So where do I need to be on Wednesday in order to be where I need to be on Friday to, to have achieved this weekly goal? That's what I'm talking about by breaking it up. And that way you're staying more in the present moment because you're dealing with this now. It's not some distant, far away dream in, in three months and six months and who knows when. Somehow between now and the end of the year, I'm going to be accomplishing whatever without any kind of a plan. It's just, if it doesn't fall out of the sky, I don't know how it's going to happen, but that's my resolution. That's my goal, but there's no plan on how to get there. There's no map. So let me know if that works for you. Figuring it out like that instead of just having a big generic, you know, idea, but with no, no connection as to how to get there. So comment, like, and bang that bell notification and I guess I'll talk to you later on in the year cheers my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious.